what's up everybody it's me james and this is going to be the last video that i'm going to be uh making pretty much the day of or very close to the day that um i'll be releasing it because tomorrow i have to have surgery on this finger as you can see i cannot bend it um it's i cut the leg or i cut the uh tendon in here so they're going to open me up and repair that so be careful because a little tiny cut like that that's all it was was a little cut going in this way that's all it took and it's going to cost me fourteen thousand dollars i don't have insurance so it's coming out of my pocket which really really sucks so if you could <laughs> please uh, support the channel. I have affiliate links down below that you can click on. And, um, you know, if you want to buy something from Amazon or whatever, then you, uh, it, I get a little kickback from it to help support the channel. So, but yeah, please be careful. Um, I was, I was planning on cutting away from myself, but like I said, I was careless. And the fact that I was pushing towards trying to get the knife under a zip tie ended up stabbing my finger being careless so always be careful you never know when a little tiny pinprick it wasn't really a pinprick but you know unfortunately it was a jab into the finger you never know when something like that is going to uh ruin your day and your finances so let me get on to this i'm gonna this this i'm gonna review this knife and then i'm gonna make about three more videos after this because i'm gonna be held up for three weeks um i will actually upload updates of how I'm doing after the surgery. That's if I survive, the chances are I will. Um, but if I don't update, then you know what happened. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to up, I'm going to do updates. So I will be, the videos, I won't be able to open and close because my whole hand is going to be like in a, uh, some sort of like thing, plastic thing for, I don't know how long. I never had this done before. So I'm going to do some knife reviews. Uh, I'll do a, uh, before I upload them, Next week, I will say how, how it's going, how it's working, and then I'll upload the uh, video that I have pre-recorded. Of course, I'll mention that. So let's get on with enough babbling. Oh, gosh. All right. All right. So this is a Shat and Morgan Lock Back Whittler. Now, tell me, have you ever seen one of these? No. I got this from a uh, cool dude off of a um, knife buy, sell, and trade group on um on a uh, facebook so like i also made my own buy sell and trade group slip joint guy buy sell and trade i'll put a link down in the description join that uh there's a lot of cool like-minded people on facebook always willing to buy sell and trade pocket knives and i love shot morgan it's my favorite knife company and uh they are coming back by the way i seen um traditional pocket knives posted on their Instagram that uh, the guy who purchased the name is going to be manufacturing new shot Morgans in Ohio, where I'm at. I believe it's Winchester, Ohio. So that's good news to hear. Um, but I got this sweet knife. It's such an interesting knife. At first look, it's very ugly, in my opinion. You you might disagree. But this, this weird, like, dog leg uh, is quite unattractive to me a dog wig dog leg whittler perhaps might be the pattern but you can see it has a button and uh, this button is oh man there we go this button uh locks boom now you know a whittler pattern these two blades sh uh, have separate springs that go into one spring that gives this main blade more um uh, support more rigid and uh so it doesn't collapse on you while whittling um but this kind of takes it a step further it uses two springs for these blades but this is a lock back which this will not close on you which is great so and this is a stainless steel knife i'm not exactly of uh for sure of the steel i don't think it's ats 34 um so it's some probably like a 420 high carbon or something like that look at the swedge this is uh this was before the Ken Daniels um Ken Daniels took over Queen awful knives that were produced. Um this was before that, so the quality of this is quite nice. Um you can see the swedge on the top, very nice, and the Shat Morgan etching. 
This is a Premiere series. Look at that. The jigging on this thing. When you see knives like this, it just reminds me of stuff that was created back in the 1900s, long before we were all thought of. I'm talking like 1905, 10, 1915, um, when people really cared about the quality of things being produced in America. So to release this blade, you push down. There and it unlocks. Very cool. So it's a lockback whittler. Kind of a, it's not a rare knife. I mean, like, I mean, I guess it may be. They're all rare knives, really. These things, these slip joints. Let me open this up. So you got your nice little blade here. Look, this was made in 2008. See that? Man, Queen was putting out some good stuff back then. Queen is the manufacturer of Shad Morgan, if you uh, were not aware of that, which most of you are. Nice bolsters, pinched, and uh, you see they're pinched. And they also have the uh, flutes. Now, this is one of my, this was one of those things where when I was talking to the guy who bought it, or not bought it, but I was buying it from, it was something that I wasn't really excited about because it's kind of an ugly knife. But after I, I was like, you know what? The price is right. I'll buy it. And uh, after I got it, I was super happy that I did buy it because it is really nice. Look at that. Just so nice. So this is kind of a unique one in my uh, collection. And uh, I have not shown this to you guys before. So my Instagram, I took some nice pictures of a sweet 1911, M1911A1. It's a real one from uh, World War II. It was, I believe it was manufactured in 44. So did it see action? I don't know. Um, but it probably went to uh, Korea and Vietnam. So maybe it did see action. Uh, but check those pictures. out. It's on Instagram. I would kind of talk about that gun here. But we can't do guns on this channel because they'll demonetize it. Um, because guns are no-no. And I don't like to get too political when it comes to knives because unlike guns, I notice that the knife community is very uh, diverse when it comes to political, politi politics. So I choose just to avoid that conversation. I'm not going to alienate half of my uh, audience by views, you know, but we let's, let's find things we're in, we have like in common, which is slip joint knives. That's why you're watching this. So, but check out those pictures. If you're a fan of history, you'd like those. But this is just a wonderful, interesting knife. I had to share it with you. Very cool. So, stainless steel. I don't really think there's any much to say about it. You can see, let's, let's do this, all right? Got a little bit of time left. I don't want to make these too long. The gloves make it a little hard to open. But look at it inside there. You see how the, the springs? Look at that. Very interesting how that mechanism works. The springs are there. I'm actually kind of looking through it too. There's the lock back section. You can see the springs that these ride on. Flip it over. And it's the mechanism. It's actually a really, really cool design. Really cool. So let's not make this too long, shall we? So I'm going to wrap this up. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Um, check out uh, my other videos. Um, I'll I'll have another video made for you next week. I'm going to sit here and record about three of them. Uh, so, uh, yep, I'll let you know next week how the surgery went and uh, tell you how much pain I am. They already told me it's going to hurt. Of course, they're going to knock me out during the surgery, but the recovery is going to suck. Um, hopefully, I heard it takes a couple weeks to get your the movement back in your finger, um, if not months. So there is some rehab there. So, guys, I appreciate all the support and all the good comments and well wishes you guys have sent me in the last week since I've told you about this incident. And uh, my advice to you is to be careful. All right. Even these things are great, but they are they can be dangerous. Um, and uh, so it's all, you know, they, these things don't have a safety. The safety is between your ears. So be smart and make sure you, you know, don't do dumb stuff like me or you'll pay for it. Uh but I'll see you guys next week with an update and a new video. And um, that's it. I appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe if you can and share this with your friends. And that's about it. Bye-bye.